what is the ruling for me? There is no problem, Achi. As long as you are not interested in paradise, you have no problem in going to hell. <laughs> you have no problem. You can skip. If it wasn't God, what would I be? I got all my blessing and there's no blessing. I live in this peace. Yeah, yeah. Fly in the globe, all over the sea. I've seen many places, been too many places, but we never be. Hey man, y'all see what we got right here today, man. If you're watching on YouTube, man, go ahead and subscribe, like, leave a comment down below. If you're new to this channel, and also follow the Twitch. Hey, everybody in the Twitch, man, say what's up to you, too. But look, man, we're gonna get straight into this video, man. Uh, from the Arab meme videos that I'll be making, you know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys was recommending me to react to uh, this guy right here, Asim Ali Akeem. Y'all said he is hilarious that he is very funny guy that i should check out like compilation of funny moments of him whatever like i should check it out so i got two videos today that we're gonna be watching of him because this video right here is like two minutes and 54 seconds so technically like three minutes and the other one's five minutes so i'm gonna merge them together in one video and we're gonna see how that go you feel me but let's get right to this video we ain't gonna waste no time this let's go everything around us is pure by default Mm -hmm. Is this pen najis or pure? It's pure. How do you know, Sheikh? Maybe the person who used it before you had sold hands. Maybe he had urine. Maybe he did not wash. Maybe. And maybe your parents are not your biological parents. Go to a DNA test. Bro, hey, yo. Nah, bro. Brother, flamey, bro. What the fuck is that, Yo, nah, that is cold. That is cold, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is not nah, just nigga built different. <laughs> he said, What did he say? <laughs> what? Yo, that is cold as fuck. That man said, Maybe. I mean, you're not lying, but it's just the way they said it. It's like, I, I brother, damn. We get it. You ain't got to do a nigga like that. Shit, that's some people boost their parents not choose your biological. <laughs> Oh, yo, that's crazy, bro. Before you had sold hands. Maybe he had urine. Maybe he did not wash. Maybe. And maybe your parents are not your biological parents. Go to a DNA test. So go to a DNA test. People come and say, I divorced my wife in anger. This is normal. Nobody divorces his wife while drinking a cup of coffee or tea. And he's in a good mood and says, listen, my love, I divorce you. All divorces take. It making sense though. Now it making sense though. Like when people do shit like that, bro, as it's got to be out of anger. You're not gonna be sitting there chilling, being like, "Oh, I'm sipping on a, you know, I'm sipping on a cup of water. Ah, I'm having a good day. Hey, wife, you divorced. Like what? It don't even make no sense." Like, it don't even make no sense. Like, you're not just going to be having a good day out of nowhere and be like, I divorced you. Like, what? Why? How? Make it make sense, bro. No, nah, I, like, nah, he making hella sense. But, yeah, that's the funniest elder, boy. He making hella sense. No cap. Let me run that back. He said that's normal. People come and say, I divorced my wife in anger. He said, I divorced my wife in anger. He said, this is normal. Like. Bro, it is normal. Like, if you divorce your wife in anger, it's because, like they always say, th uh, like things being done, being angry, can angry cannot be undone. If you do things like why you being angry, you can't take it back. You know what I'm saying? You cannot take it back. If you're angry and you smash your phone, and the moment you calm down and you're not angry no more, what you gonna do? Like, your phone is broken. Because you calm down now, don't mean like your phone, your phone gonna be fixed. You you let your anger took over you and you made the wrong decisions. So, but you know, but you if you're having a good day, you're not gonna be like, oh, I'm so happy. I want to go smash my phone. Like, no, you must be crazy. This is normal. Nobody divorces his wife while drinking a cup of coffee or tea, Thanks. and he's in a good mood and says, "Listen, my love, I divorce you." <laughs> All divorces take place in anger. However, exactly. the true anger is the anger that a person has no control over. Uh, to begin a non-Muslim with Assalamu Alaikum is totally prohibited. 
But greeting in other forms. So I go to the company, my company. I go to the office and I see my subordinate, my colleague, my supervisor. And I say, hey, good morning. What's cooking? Good looking? No problem. <laughs> Perfumes that have alcohol Definitely. are totally prohibited to drink. Duh. Sheikh, who would drink it? So you uh, tell me. I was just about Why to say. Why externally? <laughs> it's totally permissible. Oh, but it contains alcohol. So what? Right, right. I'm not drinking it. <laughs> I have my most important exams no till now in my life, inshallah, right after Eid. And I'm worried that I may uh, lose uh, the strength for preparation. What is the ruling for me? There is no problem, Akhi. As long as you are not interested in paradise, you have no problem in going to hell. <laughs> you have no problem. You can skip. Nah. Nah, this nigga is cold. This nigga is cold, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> this thing is so petty, though. <laughs> It's like, why ask me this stupid ass question? Like you 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 actually know the answer, but you you trying to look for ways to bypass it. Like, bro, that's not bro. If the Quran says if you do this, this is what's gonna happen, it's final say. You know, it's final say. There's no what if or but. Like, bro, this is it, that's it. It said if you're not interested in paradise, they say well, fuck you, go do it. <laughs> I think it's interested in paradise, you have no problem in going to hell. You have no problem. You can skip fasting. I, I know, that's the most facts. important exam in my life. What is your life? The most important <laughs> exam in your life is what you're living at the moment. No cap. Which the results would know be known after your death. After when you, you go to paradise, so oh, you have hell. <laughs> exam. The question is: <laughs> Is it permissible to eat crocodile? <laughs> you can eat it before it eats you. <laughs> if a man tells his wife to keep fit and clean, what is the ruling on such a woman? And what advice would you give to both the man and the woman? Hit the gym first and nah, lead by example. Nah, Look in the mirror, ya akhi. Who you think, do you think you are? Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> Mr. Universe? If you want Miss Universe, no, you oh have wait, to be it's crazy. I think I've seen this video before, but I didn't see the complete video. Like this part where he's talking about like if you want to see if you want to lose weight. No, I didn't see the video. I heard the audio. I heard the audio of him talking that road. If you want your wife to lose weight, you lose weight first and lead by example. You can't be a fat ass nigga and talking about some hey, I want my wife to look like this. Mm -mm -mm. But your ass look like fucking washed up fucking pig that is that that is rubbed up in fucking mud and shit. Like nigga, get your ass up, bro. <laughs> so I sound like you kind of racist a bit. <laughs> nah, hey, bro. Now, nah, but you gotta lead by example, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't be telling somebody to do something, but you not doing it. Like get the fuck up out of here, <laughs> Mr. Olympia. So you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. Huh? You can't demand your wife to be something when you yourself yeah, yeah. are not even as close. That's fine. But at the same time, be content. Sheikh, mm. I'm your big fan. May Allah bless you, Sheikh. That means, Zakallah khair. May Allah promote you to uh, an air condition. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Nah, that is hilarious. Oh, I think this is the other. Yeah, this is the other video right here. Oh, that shit went straight right into it. All right, well, let's get into it. Let's get into it. It's a uh, you funny as hell. Nah, bro, build different. <laughs> it's a boy is crazy. <laughs> Next man is nah. I fuck with him though. I ain't gonna lie. I never really watched him. I just seen videos of him. There's this other dude also that also talks, but I never. But him, I've seen him a lot, but I don't really like watch him or pay attention to anything that he's saying. You know what I'm saying? But he is very famous, so I know that for sure. He said, "Nah, who let my bro cook, bro? <laughs> nah, he did cook." <laughs> Yes, yes, being well, out what of I understand of the question is that uh, in schools they teach it that uh, gender uh, is up to you, what you believe you are, uh, a male, female, or in, in between. So I'm a uh, bird. Ah, <sighs> <laughs> I'm a bird. <laughs> all right. So we, I guess we are something, right? <laughs> And we have Sufyan from India. 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم الله وبركاته شيك عامي وبيك فعل ما الله بليك شيك لا أمين زاك الله خير مي الله بروموت يو تو ان اير كنديشن A brother says if a man tell his tells his wife to keep fit and oh, clean to lose weight and belly fat and what advice would you give to both the man and the woman so my advice to the man try to be diplomatic with your wife hit the gym first and lead, lead by, by example, example. By fact, bro. look in the mirror ya akhi mashallah who you think do you think you are arnold schwarzenegger mr universe if you want miss universe you have to be mr olympia so you pay peanuts you get monkeys you can't demand your wife to be something when you yourself are not even as close assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh um sheikh uh, i don't think you would have uh, got a question like this before uh, but it's also like a bit funny um basically uh, if a husband finds his wife uh, too attractive and you know uh, if she's around he's uh, always distracted he can't focus on, on his work and get his tasks done is it permissible to ask his wife to uh, cover up no it's not he should man up and ask allah azza wa jal to grant him the ability to be grateful and thankful and show his gratitude to Allah Azza wa Jal. What kind of a person would have a gorgeous wife <laughs> and ask her to, to cover up? No cover up? <laughs> and what kind of a man who would be... Are you, are you, are you gaining a... <laughs> like, nigga, what? Now, like, what? See... I, I would sit there and be distracted, nigga. The fuck? My, my wife looking all gorgeous and everything. You telling me, you like, I'm distracted. I'm going to tell her to go cover up. Like, bro, you better man the fuck up. Be happy you got a beautiful ass wife. Shit. Some people don't get that. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't get a woman that is, like, that beautiful. You know what I mean? But you lucky to have them. You talking about them. Are you distracted? Nigga, shit. I don't want to be distracted. Distract me. The fuck? Shit. Okay, okay. Let me get this distracted right by the beauty of his <laughs> wife after a week. Come on, give me a break. It's not a funny question. This is a mental illness <laughs> of such a person who is distracted by the beauty of his wife. Instead of enjoying what Allah, Allah made halal for him man. and making the best of everything. But he minute. used the right word. What Allah make Allah for him. Like it's not it's 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 not uh how you say uh, what, what's the other word like for Allah, bro? It's like, you know, something that is like is the opposite. You know what I'm saying? She's not an opposite. You're not committing a sin, bro. Like, this is this is right. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Lost over her all you want. Like, she is your wife. You're supposed to be like that towards her. Like, the fuck? You tripping. With such a wife and showing his gratitude to Allah, he wants to cover her up. Yeah, what great. about if he finds money in his bank account after years of saving? Wouldn't that distract him as well? Exactly. I can send you my bank account <laughs> if you want to not be distracted. This is not uh, logical nor normal. No. Yeah. Here you drive I good, agree. mashallah. And Malaysian people are very nice, very, very easy going. In Saudi, mashallah, when I get in my car, I put my helmet. <laughs> and it, it, I become a different person. You know, I became very aggressive. And when we drive, if someone cuts over me, ah, he, he made a mistake. I will follow him until Mecca. <laughs> Just to cut over him. Seriously. This is how we feel and how we drive. No, Why? So many times someone does something wrong to, to you. you yeah. Islam tells you, you may do the same thing wrong back to him or pardon him. Yeah. And it's best you to pardon, pardon him. him. Yeah. People re overreact. So instead of balancing their reaction, mm. we have men divorcing their wives. Why? Uh, I divorced my wife yesterday, Sheikh. Uh, can I reconcile? They come to me, said, why did you divorce her? Well, Sheikh, she prepared the food and the salt was too much. I said, okay, then what? 
said, I, I told her six times, don't put so much salt and she doesn't listen, I divorced her. This is like having a mosquito without Zika. Huh? Having a mosquito on your hand and you bring a cannon. Boom. Yeah, bro. Oh. Th that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, decision being done in anger cannot be undone. Like, bro, what the fuck, man? Motherfucker be mad at the most dumbest shit. Like, bro, when I'm driving, bro, I don't have, uh, like, I'm not a road raging person. Like, I don't care, bro. As long as I, I'm safe, like, you can drive all crazy you want, you know what I'm saying? But if you cross me wherever, I could be like, yo, like, what the hell? Like, damn, this motherfucker crazy, dog. And then I just go about my day. I'm not like, yo, what the, man, park this shit, bro. I'm going to beat this nigga ass. Or like, oh, well, fuck you. Not, bro, I, bro, I got better things to do. Am I, am I alive? Yeah, yeah, that's all. Thank God for keeping me safe. That I didn't have to, you know, that, that no accident actually happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, I almost got an accident like a couple of months ago, man. When I was, I was driving, I was on the road. And this car came out of the neighborhood and just went into the road right in front of me. I swerved and everything, bro. My car went, sure, sure. And then I went straight back on the road and kept driving. And I looked for my rearview mirror. I was like, yo, what the hell is wrong with this dude? And he just kept driving. And I'm just like, okay. Like, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's tough. Some people just, just don't care. Some people just weird, bro. Like, but, and this is what it is. That's on them. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you just got to move on. You know what I mean? He said, me personally? Yeah, I know. Vibe Bill. We know you. He said, put me look like a crackhead. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, you want to provoke? I will beat your ass, nigga. See, like like he said. He said, bro, you can choose to, you know, fuck the niggas ass up or you can choose to pardon them. But like Vibe Bill said, me personally, I'm I'm with Vibe Bill right now because you trying to play. I'll beat your ass because stop playing. Stop playing. I'm going to fuck you up. Okay, I'm just saying, nah. <laughs> I wanted to know, um, how, are we allowed to greet um, non-Muslims like before they greet us? What? I don't know. Okay, what so greeting in Islam usually refers to assalamu alaikum. This is yeah. the greeting uh, uh, in Islam. Mm -hmm. To begin a non-Muslim with assalamu alaikum is totally prohibited. Totally. In a non-Muslim with assalamu alaikum is totally prohibited. Wait, wait, what? To begin a non-Muslim with assalamu alaikum is totally prohibited. Okay. Totally, full stop. And if there was a Muslim and a Christian in the same place, I would say assalamu alaikum, intending the Muslim, not the Kafir. But greeting in other forms. So I go to the company, my company. I go to the office and I see my subordinate, my colleague, my supervisor. And I say, hey, good morning. What's cooking? Good looking? No problem. <laughs> this is a permissible greeting. Good morning. How are you? Hi. Yeah. Good day. That's no the, problem. Like, the haram thing to initiate is bro, saying. That's the word I was trying to remember earlier. Haram. Like Allah and haram. You know what I'm saying? Like, your wife is not haram. Your wife is allowed, you know what I'm saying? Because it's allowed, you know what I'm saying? Assalamu alaikum. I'm, I'm Kamala Harris. The fuck, man? That's crazy. But yeah, man, nah, that's a W video. I'm not going to lie. That's a W video. Now, that man was speaking hella facts, though. Like, I totally understand what he's saying at the end because it's like, it's like, why, like, why would you greet a non Muslim, Assalamu alaikum, if, you know, if they're not a Muslim? Like, you expect them to respond back because when you say assalamu alaikum, they have to respond back, wa alaikum salam. You know what I'm saying? But only a Muslim will respond back, wa alaikum salam, because they know the respond back of what you're asking. You know what I'm saying? But if you say it to a non Muslim and you say assalamu alaikum, it's like, okay, I know that's Islam, but what does that mean? What, well, like, am I supposed to know? A lot, a lot of people know what assalamu alaikum is, even though they're not. Christian, or I mean, even though they're not Muslim, you know what I'm saying? But you don't expect people to know. Don't expect everybody to know that. So that's why it's prohibited because, it's like, it's like you technically trying to start shit. You technically trying to start shit. It's like, yeah, we get it. We get it. You're Muslim. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you also, like, if a Christian come up and is like, oh, Jesus loves you. It's like, okay, yeah, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
why are we religiously greeting each other when we can greet each other as a regular human being? And if you want to talk about your religion, then talk about your religion. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a different note. But don't go around and just trying to, like, start a conversation with, oh, assalamu alaikum to somebody that's a non-Muslim. Or you're trying to say, uh, uh what's, what's it called? Uh, Jesus loves you to a, you know, to a non-Christian. It's like, bro. It's like you looking, you slightly looking for shit. You're looking for wala. You know what I'm saying? You're looking for trouble. Because you're trying to provoke people that are not your, of your religion. It's like you're trying to make them feel some type of way. They say, yeah, because you have to respond back so it wouldn't be fair for both sides. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it's, not, it's not fair. You can't do that. Like, you know a normal way to greet people. It's, it's, assalamu alaikum is not the only way you can greet people. You can say hello. Hi, hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's a normal way you would greet any other person even if they don't speak English. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody understand hi. Like, you know, if you say assalamu alaikum, they're like, okay. Like, what you want me to do with that information? Like, you know what I'm saying? So you can also say you're <laughs> stupid. <laughs> hey man, but that's it for this video, man. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know y'all opinion in the comment section. Nah, this is a W video. W recommendation. I fuck with it, man. But thank you for tuning to this one, man. Love y'all, and we out on that one, though. That's fine. That's fine.